Alright guys, hey there, Case in 41. So, I've kind of decided that I've gotten away from what exactly my channel was and what exactly I used to do. Hold on, let me uh, adjust this really quick. Okay, there we go. Now I just have one in, but uh, earbuds that is. So, I decided I got a little bit away from uh, what my channel used to be. So, I decided that um, I want to get back to what I was doing before, which was pretty much just Minecraft videos, because uh, I really enjoy them. I really enjoy just playing Minecraft, and it doesn't feel like work to me to actually record things um, whenever I play Minecraft. So, uh, we're going to create a new world here, and I'm just going to start uh, playing through like uh... and uh, I'm going to turn the bonus chest on and sheets on in case I ever need them uh, at some point but um, so it's called play world but this is the uh, minecraft feed the beast infinity um, it has a lot a lot of mod packs um, and like pretty much all my videos is going to be slash tutorial slash uh, just let's play Ah, that's good soup. Even though it's not soup. Um, <laughs> let's see what's going on with my phone here while this loads. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Okay. Oh, nope, not quite. Ah, this it always takes forever to load because there's so many mods. Hmm. Okay, cool. Let it load in here for a sec instead of moving around. Okay. Everything is loaded up. Oop, except for that. And that. What the heck? Oh. Oh! So I rebinded my keys whenever I was playing with one of my friends. Um, because we were just grinding. There we go. Now spacebars jump rather than interact. Oh, it's kind of funny. Sorry, I'm just rearranging some of my setup here because I have to or else I'm going to run into so many things. Okay. Alright, so looks like we kind of got a really good area. It looks like there's kind of um, already a half quarry here. So this will be nice. I'll already be down to stone. And there's some coal and appetite ore. I don't know. We'll figure out what that is as we go. Okay. Coal. Lots of coal. Alright, but I am at layer 83. So that's, that's pretty high. Um, let's see what's down here. So this is just all forest. So that's obviously the perfect place to set up a base. Um, oh wait, didn't I turn on bonus chest? Shouldn't I have a bonus? Ah! Gimme, gimme, gimme. Bread. Flippers. I don't feel like this was the stuff I was supposed to get. Like at all. And obviously, I'm going to take the chest. And the torches. Because mine. Alright. <laughs> oh, wait, is that some iron? No, I was just sorely mistaken. Do 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 do. Alright, so we'll head over here. Um. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They uh, add all kinds of wigs and stuff. So. My only question for you guys as I get further and further into this uh, uh, series is um, what exactly, like, do you want to see me mine? Because I find me just mining, like, endlessly really, really boring. Um, I mean, I might actually have to do some editing. As much as I hate to edit on my channel, I kind of just like to post what I do and just roll through it. Which some people totally hate and some people dislike, but uh, for me it makes things so much easier to just do it all at once, not really edit anything, and just upload it. Like, minimal editing is how I prefer things. But yeah, me just mining for diamonds and stuff I find is very, very boring. But uh, at the same time, hopefully I won't have to do that. Hopefully I'll be able to get to build craft stuff pretty quick. Okay, so if you don't know anything about... Uh, 
this particular mod pack, there are things that are called dense ores, and it's just very, it's just like this one's dense coal ore if you read the top there. And uh, basically what that is, is instead of it just giving you one drop of the ore, it has a chance to give you like, I don't know, I think it's like two to five or something like that. So if we just stand back, oh yeah, they gave us a lot. So that's pretty good. But I'm going to get myself a good bit of cobblestone here, just so I cannot uh, need any more for a little bit. But yeah, anyway, uh, back to the mining part. Uh, I feel like just watching me mine for like an hour is just stupid and takes a lot of time uh, away from everybody. So I feel like I might edit through that. I might, I might not. I might just um, have you guys power through it. Cause I mean, obviously you can skip uh, parts that you don't like in the video. So I feel like that should be probably enough, you know, to uh, if people don't like it, they can skip past it. If they do like it, um, they can watch it. Cause I'm sure I'll have little ramblings, but I'm sure it won't be very many ramblings. It'll probably be like really short things about really stupid stuff. Because I mean, it's hard to like think constantly uh, while you do these videos and stuff. Like that is one thing that is very, very hard. Like to be the kind of person that's actually able to ramble to yourself for hours. Like it's a certain degree of crazy, honestly. But uh, at the same time, it's still pretty cool. Yeah, getting wood. Okay, now what am I actually going to build out of all this wood, though, is the main question. I'm gathering all the resources, but I don't have a purpose yet. I mean, obviously, I'm going to build a house. <laughs> oh, I'm going to build a house. But I don't quite know where to build the house or anything like that. Um, just have to think. Okay, so rubber wood's going to be important. So let's get some of that. Because you can use this kind of rubber wood interchangeably with um, Industrial Craft 2's wood rubber. So it's very important to at least find a rubber tree like this or an Industrial Craft 2 rubber tree because uh, you need rubber, just period. It's just a thing. So I at least have that. But there appears to be plenty around here. Um, I feel like I might just make my house up top. I feel like that'd be a cool place. You know, you know. Just build one up there and uh, stare down at all the peasants. And be like, fetch me my robe. And then I'll, I'll I'll craft a robe so they can fetch it for me. <laughs> I feel like that's a good idea. All right, so yeah, a little bit more. I should have enough probably for a decent sized house. Um, I believe so, at least anyway. Awesome. So that's dropping a lot of stuff. I just want one more tree. I'm gonna keep saying that for a while. It's like ah, just one more. Uh, just one more. Don't. Uh, no, no, no. I don't have a problem. I can stop chopping trees whenever I want. Put the axe down. Oh, <laughs> you're silly. Give me that back. Alright, so let's destroy some of these, see if I can find some seeds of any kind. I think I just got some barley. So, okay, those are regular seeds. Um, that was flax. Cool, so what the hell was that? I don't know what that was, but I don't like it. This is all I know. <laughs> okay, so we'll climb a little bit. We'll take a quick look around and we'll see what we could see. Because I looked around before, but I didn't really look in the context of I want to build a house. So, so we actually spawned in a pretty cool place. There's a swamp. There's um, a winter biome, which we don't really want to build in, uh, just due to the fact that uh, it'll make all the water in our house freeze, and I don't really want that. Okay, so this is technically still a extreme hills biome, so stuff won't freeze in this biome, which is awesome. And I have a lot of room around here. Oh, what up, creeper? You gonna creep? Creeper's gonna creep. Good man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so there's some there's some caves here too, which would be great, but I don't want to quite build my house here, um, obviously because I don't want shit jumping out in my face in the middle of the night. Be like half asleep. And I look over and he'd be like, Shh. and I'd be like, no, not now, honey. Oh, wait, I'm not married. Boom. It'd be great. <laughs> All right, so, ooh, that little island looks pretty tantalizing, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, so... I might just build it atop a hill somewhere. Uh, I feel like, oh no, these hills, water won't freeze. That's just because it's really high up and they're simulating that. Okay, so 
Building a house up here wouldn't be a terrible idea, honestly. So I'm going to look around for a couple more seconds, determine the best place um, for a house. Clearly, that's going to be done by climbing this mountain. Whoop. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, so over there is really not bad at all. Oh, this was a mistake. Mistakes have been made. Hurt, digger. Ow. I'm okay. I'm good. Don't worry. It's chill. It's chill. We all good. Is that rice? Apparently not. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I just put on flippers. I don't know what they do, but river cane. That's pretty cool. So I hear a skeleton, which I want no part of this place if there are skeletons like right there already. Ow, ow, ow. What? What just happened? Did I just step on something that poisoned me? Now I'm like paranoid to walk around. Like I really am. <laughs> okay, so that's mystical lime. That's more river cane. So that's cool. Fallen down trees. Yeah, this mod adds a lot of stuff. Like chestnuts. They aren't roasting on an open fire yet, but we can we can fix that later. Don't worry. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna need a house soon. Cause it's getting dark. Really dark. Really fast, actually. It's quite kind of concerning. I should probably be like really worried. Um. But I'm not. Okay, cool, there's a cave right there. So, that'd be kinda nice to be able to build close-ish to that. But I don't want to be quite there. What is that, gold gravel? Gold gravel's pretty cool. Gravel ores are pretty nice in general. Um, you know what, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna build underwater. I feel like that would be the coolest thing to do. You know, I feel like this is going to be awesome. Just because I can, and hopefully not die. Don't die, don't die, don't die! Okay. So I just need to dig down one more block. With an axe, apparently. And then place that there. And then, that's how you do it. Um, dig down one more. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, so. You do have to dig down a little bit, actually, believe it or not. So, I have dug down a little bit, and that's actually perfect right there, because we just found quartz, and quartz is, like, vital. For future endeavors here. Because quartz is awesome. I haven't made an underwater house in a while, but you know, so for you guys, anything, anything. Okay, so we'll just haul out a little house down here for now. Probably won't be very big, but hey, I mean, it'll be a tiny house. It's you making fun of the size of my house, bro? I'll cut you. <laughs> I've been saying that a lot recently. I'll cut you. Just because, like, I don't know. I, I find it very, very funny. And I, ah, no, fuck you. I don't understand why I find it that funny. It's like one of those jokes that you hear, and you're like, ha, 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 and you won't stop laughing, and you're like, why did I laugh so embarrassingly long at that? Because that joke was not that funny. Mm-hmm. Go, 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 mine, mine. <laughs> That'd be kind of awesome, like, if coal miners would do that to each other while they're, like, digging, and they're like, mine, 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 instead of, like, chug. Do, do, do. Okay, so, I think one more over will be a, a decent-sized beginning here. And, uh, the, but there are a lot of benefits to, like, underground houses, but... So, 
So let's uh, plop out our stuff here. Underground houses are nice because you get a lot of cobblestone and you also have to deal with stuff sneaking up on you, which is a serious problem in this mod. Um, like, things are pretty brutal. Like, early on. And it's quite bad, actually. So we'll put, like, all the useless stuff in there for now. Well, not useless, but I can't use it right now. Okay. Ugh, that felt great. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, ladders, because I need ladders to get the hell out of here. Oh, my God. go. Cool, so that doesn't work anymore? Awesome. So we'll just make like a nice logical division in my house. Oh, it's so dark! Cool. So we'll make ourselves a couple more torches here, rather than to deal with the like the infinite darkness. There you go. So that's nice. Everything's pretty lit now. All right. So that's a pretty good start, honestly. I mean, I mean, for 16 minutes, that's that's rather impressive. You know what? I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. I'm just going to sit here for a minute and I'm going to admire the amount of progress that I have made. I want you to just 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 look at all this stuff, okay? Look at it. You see all of it? It's impressive for 14 minutes, I guess. Act ah, 17 minutes. You know what? Now it's not impressive. It's not impressive at all anymore. 17 minutes, it's 3 minutes later. It's too late. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think um what exactly I want to do from here okay so I'm going to prioritize and I'm going to start uh expanding a little bit because you know you need a bigger base than that that's just like a little cubby hole not many great people come from a cubby hole except for Harry Potter I mean he he's pretty awesome Okay, so what is that? Is that tin ore? That's great. Okay, this is turning perfect right now. This is becoming really, really awesome, actually. The underground house was a brilliant idea. I don't know what door right is, but it might not be useful. But at the same time, it might be useful. So, okay, so we'll dig three over. I know it's not proportionate. I'm sorry. There you go. So that should be a rather large corridor for me to do activities in. I mean, think of all the extra room I'm going to have for activities with this extra block over. I mean, seriously, come on now. I'm probably going to dig it down one do as well because I can't stand um, the wall being right on top of my head. I'm just, I don't like, I don't like it. Not claustrophobic. I just don't like small spaces. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. Come on, dig, 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 dig. I just can't get the picture out of like 30 coal miners just doing that to each other. Just dig, 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 dig. No, don't stop, dig. Okay, so that's pretty good. Meh. Sure. <laughs> that's the ideal lighting situation, but that's uh, tacky. Um. Okay. So I now have this room, and I know what you're thinking, what you're gonna do with this room? Well, I have I have vast amounts of plans for this room. 
this room is going to be probably like my spoke room, like uh, the room where everything else comes off of. And, um, I, f I feel, oh. Let's do slabs, actually, because a slab up is just nicer. Um, right? Okay. I like how whenever I get focused, I won't talk. I'll just be like, okay, I need, I need to do this. This needs to happen right now. And diggy, diggy hole. All right, all right, all right. Getting there. Getting there. We're close. All right. So after this. Hmm, I think I'm going to start mining, probably, actually. Um, I do need food pretty steadily, though, but I'm not going to be able to have that. So, what's the middle of the room? This is the middle of the room. One, two, one, two, three balls. There is no middle. So, I'm just going to do, like your standard mine hole here just too wide instead of one because I've always liked the symmetry of too wide it's kinda of pointless you should kinda of just do one wide the whole way down so this is gonna take me twice as long as it would if I did it the recommended way but at the same time I just like the space of it you know So we're just going to keep digging, I guess. Mm -hmm. This is the one thing I've always kind of disliked about Minecraft, is that initial grind to get a mine, because you know you're not going to really find anything interesting until like 40 layers down, and it's just kind of like that grind though, you know? I mean, if I can get this down a little bit, I'll be pretty satisfied because it's not like it needs to go down a crazy amount, you know? It's not bad, though. Okay, so I do have plenty of sticks still. Go. I think I'll dig till this prick axe breaks, and then uh, we'll see where I'm at, what exactly I have, and go from there. Okay, cool. That's uranium ore. That's useful uh, for industrial craft too, which we haven't really gotten into yet. But um, this first this first episode is just pretty much going to be me setting stuff up. Honestly, uh, I know it's kind of boring, but I mean, hey, you got to do what you got to do. Okay, for some reason I thought that was like a drop into a dungeon, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, you know, I shouldn't have said words. I should have. <laughs> I should have just shut up. Okay, so let's see what's going on out here. The only thing I don't want is to get shot by a skeleton. So, we'll try to avoid that. Okay, so there's a lot of tin ore there. I don't see any skeletons. I do see some creepers, though. Okay, so that's tin. Those are ore berries. Um, I see some coal, mm, mushrooms, nothing crazy useful, honestly, but that would bring my mind down quite a few layers without me having to do much of anything. So, I may just roll with that. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, now I have problems. <laughs> Alright. So we'll climb back up, make ourselves some more ladders, and uh, extend our mine a bit, even though it looks terrible. Um, it's faster. It's a lot faster than digging through that mine.
Damn it. Okay. There we go. That should be plenty of ladders. I mean, I would be really impressed if it wasn't. But due to the fact that I've just brought it down like 20 layers, we might as well just, you know, power through this and uh, get, a, get a mine going here. There we go. All right. And do 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 na 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 Boop. I mean, I don't know what the skeleton is. I don't want to know what the skeleton is. Act like I don't hear him at all. Just trying to light that area up so we don't get spawned on. Because that is the last thing that I want. Okay, cool. There's some iron ore there. So that's kind of exactly what I want. And we can actually start breaking into some cool technologies now. Yeah, iron ore. But what I'm going to show you next is pretty cool. If you have a, a mod pack like this and uh, you don't want to get an industrial craft immediately, there's um, little tricks here that you can get to maximize the amount of um, things you need. Well, not things you need, the amount of use you get out of your ores. Let me show you guys. Let me let me learn you something. Alright, so what you're gonna need a couple stones. And you're gonna need some quartz. Exactly three. I think. I think. I think three. One, two, three. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say. Hmm. I don't remember what the one was. Let me look it up for you guys. wooden gear. Okay, so it's really not that bad to make. You just need that and you get this. Then you just place some quartz right there. Take your two stone you made, put them there. Take your cobble, put it like that. Sorry, reverse this. Wow, I'm just crazy. Does that one have to be stone too? Oh my life. Or do the bottom ones have to be stone? I don't know anymore. No, you know, those three just have to be stone. So I was right in putting three in there. I just second guessed myself. All right, so what? I am so confused. What is it? Okay, so I do need those three. The bottom two. Okay, so it's just kind of like that and this. Wow, I, I tried to look so professional and just screwed it all up there. Alright, there we go. So then you just make a wooden crank, like so. Then you just plop this thing down and make sure there's a block behind it so you can place the lever. And then you put ore in there and you turn the crank. And you, just, you wait a couple seconds. It's not too bad of a of a grind really. I just want you to appreciate the amount of work that goes into this. 
That's why I'm being quiet. I just, I just want you to appreciate the amount of work that I am currently putting into this right now. Okay. So you look in here, and you have dust. And now, every time an ore goes down, it'll break it down into at least two dust. Or, I think, something like that. It's either two or three, I think. Um, I think it varies. It might just be... Um, uh, anywhere from one to two, but typically what I've noticed is it's pretty much always two. I've I've seen very few ones, honestly, if there even are ones at all. I mean, there kind of has to be given the fact that we have eleven there. Um, it's not an even number, obviously. So keep going, keep going, keep going. Should be done. Yep, it'll stop. And then you got all your dust. And then you could smelt these dusts into bars, and you just you kind of effectively double the amount of um, ores that you uh, get out of actually mining, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. It's really early, quick way to do it. I think it's very low tech, and it's uh, faster to get than the macerator in industrial craft too. Which is very, very important. Do, do, do. Keep on digging. Okay. So spun that a couple times. We'll get ourselves an iron pick here so we can start uh, mining iron things, iron level things, I guess. Alright, we're getting hungry again, so we'll munch on the bread that we have. We are going to need more food pretty soon, but that's that's another problem for another day. We're not, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to act like I'm completely full on hunger. Alright, then we'll just dig through this gold. Oh my god, my eye hurts so bad for some reason. Oh my god, this is terrible. I can't even see. Alright, next to lava. Oh, why do you burn so bad? Oh my god, stop. Stop. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. Ah. Mm. Oh my god, I can't even... Oh my... Ah, oh, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ, why? Sweet mother of God, what is on my hands? Ah. Uh. Holy... Oh my... What the fuck? It's like every time, oh my god, I rub it and it gets so much worse. Oh. oh my god. It's literally like somebody just fucking put jalapeno hot sauce in my eyes. I don't even know if it's a thing, but it's a fucking thing and I don't even give a shit. Holy fuck, this hurts. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. I can't even fucking see right now. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't even touch my eyes. It just, it just started to hurt. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Shit. Oh, oh my God. Cool. So... One thing you'll learn in Minecraft, you never want to dig straight down, but pretty much I say screw that rule all the time, um, because I'm boss. No, it's just, it's simpler, because I already have the ladders, I mean, I might as well, you know, keep the ladder going. And so long as you just say shift it on the ladder, you're, you're really safe. This is probably one of the fastest ways, actually, to uh, dig a hole. Just because one, you don't need light, two, you don't need steps, and three, it's just, it's super fast. It just really is. Because this gets you right there, like, immediately. Not immediately, but very fast, you know? The only problem is you are, like, creating yourself a really big problem if you do run into lava. It's really the only downside. Which I am hearing some of, so I should probably be very, very cautious where I'm digging, but obviously I'm not. Because I'm a boss. No. 
I just I saw that the other day and like it was such a thing a while ago, but it just died so fast. And as I get older and older, I kind of realize that's just like the general consensus with a lot of things, and it's it's very upsetting. <laughs> Like, I'm not even that old, but it makes me feel so old that that's not a thing anymore. Climb the tree. Climb the tree. What? This isn't a tree. Oh, those are aluminum zores. Okay, so... Orberry bushes are a pretty cool mechanic that I might get into later. But, um... They are really neat if you uh, know anything about them. So we'll just load this up with that ore. And, um... We'll take the aluminum ore because it's really not that important. And, uh... Switch stuff around. Uh, so I'm gonna take this apple with me because I might need it. It's dangerous. Take this with you. So that should get me nine more blocks down. Uh, that'll get me a lot. So that should pretty much take me to the level that I want to be at, I believe. Yeah, because this is layer 14, so I can go down. I probably want to go down to about layer 8 is the layer I kind of prefer. I know this isn't efficient, but I don't really care. I just want to get through it. So you just pop the iron ore here, plop a torch in there. And that's dense iron ore. That's actually fantastic because that will give us a lot of iron ore there. Okay, and I'm hitting lapis, so I'm pr I'm pretty low right now, which is good. That's about where I want to be, but I do want to be a little bit farther down than that, actually. So there you go. So we will, because I do hear lava, I do kind of see them over top of a lava lake, so I'm going to dig carefully. Alright, I'm fine with this. Cool, so whenever you just stop, it just drops you. Alright, nice to know. So that's going to be dense lapis, it's going to be a lot of lapis. So if I can just get some of this, this comes into handy l later on in the mods, but currently it's it's totally useless. But I do want it for later. Okay, so if I dig down one more block, which I would have been so upset if that was lava, I feel pretty confident this is a good layer to dig at. Um, like, I think 8 is pretty ideal to dig at, um, if you didn't know that. So you kind of just keep digging like so until you hit stuff and you just pray that you hit stuff. Um, I typically do a 3x3 three three tunnel honestly. So expand it out into that. I've found that you just find more whenever you do uh, a 3x3 three three tunnel. Which I mean obviously you are digging more so you should find more but 3x3 three three tunnels have just worked out the best for me, so I'm done with that way. <laughs> we'll go this way now. That's usually what I do whenever I hit lava. Most of the time I don't spend my too much time trying to deal with the lava pockets unless I feel really committed to keep going that way, which I didn't find anything in that little test, so I don't feel like I should you know, keep committing to that one side there. And there is lava directly above me, which one of these blocks might actually open into lava. And I would be very, very upset. Now we're good. We're chill. But yeah, um, it's looked like nothing's really generating near this lava, so I'm probably not going to find anything for a little bit, which really sucks. But uh, if you didn't know that, um, stuff generates in really concentrated pockets near lava. Like if anything generates around them, it's it's either going to be like diamonds or like just certain things only generate. Or, well, they don't only generate on lava, but um, there's like it's less of an occurrence, but more of it, if that makes sense. Less frequent, more dense is what I've noticed. And I have a lot of Minecraft hours. 
and I used to program stuff in Minecraft, so I actually kind of have a pretty good inkling as to uh, um, what exactly, how exactly the ores generate. So, because I used to generate some of my own ores <laughs> in the mods that I made, uh, which is a little bit more complex than you think to uh, try to get it um, to the perfect amount. Because just certain modifiers, if you tweak them just a little bit too much, your ore just becomes so common that it's not even funny. And it's like the only thing you can find. I mean, I remember one time I changed it to be so common whenever I was testing, and uh, I made it more basically as common as stone. Basically, replaced stone with it, um, which was pretty awesome. It's, it's kind of hilarious, just because like you would be swimming in the stuff. Uh, but obviously, I didn't release that in one of the one of the patches that I sent out. Uh, it's a very old Minecraft mod now. It did really basic things, if I recall, like. Um, I remember um, I made like windows with um, stone, like cobblestone outlinings and stone outlinings and stuff. And mods do that now, but I did it really early on, and um, it was pretty cool. One of the problems with it was though I couldn't get the uh, the windows to just look one way, so you could actually stare through the entire ground. Like, if my block was, like, right here, and it was glass, like, if you had them stacked up, you could see through, but if you stood on top of the stack and looked down, you could, like, see directly through the ground, like, it was, like, a no-glitch kind of thing. It was pretty terrible. <laughs> I, was, I was actually kind of upset about that glitch, because I couldn't fix it. And then again, it wasn't too far into my IT career or my programming at that point. Um, I, I feel pretty confident if I went back, I could probably fix it, but that version of Minecraft's so outdated that it doesn't really matter anymore. I remember updating it whenever uh, as Minecraft kept updating and that was pretty ridiculous to keep up with. Like if you didn't know, if you joined Minecraft before like beta, well after beta, um, they would push out patches like at least once a month and it was terrible be if you were a modder because just keeping up with it was brutal. I always wanted to get back into it, you know, maybe start taking donations and stuff, but um, I've never felt confident enough. And between my regular job and college, um, it's kind of hard to fit that in, you know. Like, I mean, if people would give me, you know, like my salary and donations and stuff, I would happily just sit here and program and do something I enjoy, but uh, it's really hard to get that amount, you know. I feel like I always start out so happy and then like as the video goes I get more and more depressed <laughs> about things that I can't do rather than the things I can do. And it's like, ah, well, fuck. <laughs> I don't know, I think that whole I thing has just put a damper on my day, if I'm honest. That was, that was terrible. It was probably one of the worst experiences of my entire day. And I worked a 13 hour shift at work today, <laughs> like sitting around a computer for 13 hours doing some HTML coding. It's very, very boring. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen HTML, not like HTML5, just straight up HTML, like wiki stuff, like what Wikipedia is written in, like basically just that all day for 13 hours, and uh, people would just give me tickets of things they want to change, and I would just do it for 15 hours, well, th for 13 hours, it's terrible. Really? I don't, fuck it. It's probably one of the worst experiences I've had in quite some time. But it's my job. Um, well, part of it. It just really happened to be my entire job today, and it was pretty terrible, if you ask me. Alright. Well, I'm about 45 minutes into this video. So I'm thinking I will cut it here with a little bat. Little bat, little bat, little bat. I think I will cut it. Oh, he died. I think I will cut it here and um, pick up uh, immediately after. I just want a logical stopping point. All right. See you guys next time.